Sometimes, there are things in life that are so strange, even experts get befuddled upon their discovery. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the most bizarre things uncovered. From a super-snouted frog to a 518-million-year-old sea creature, here are 20 strangest things recently discovered. Number 20. Super Snouted Frog In 2022, a group of scientists announced a thrilling discovery. A teeny tiny frog with a super snout. This little amphibian was discovered in the Putumayo River, a beautiful river spanning Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Brazil. A team of scientists stumbled upon this brand new species during a thrilling expedition in 2019, aimed at unraveling the mysteries of the Amazon's incredible amphibious residents. This frog was among the first researchers have uncovered. Now imagine a frog with a snout that looks eerily similar to that of a tapir, the pig-like mammal with a unique trunk. You might be wondering why on earth this frog has such a peculiar snout. Well, experts have a theory. They believe this frog spends its days delicately nosing through soft and wet soils. Most other disc frogs have sturdy bodies and a broad snout that helps them dig deep into the ground. However, the tapir frog has a slender frame, indicating it might not be as adept at hardcore digging. Perhaps that's why nature gave this frog such a long snout. But here's the thing. This discovery is not about marveling at this incredible frog. Scientists are also working hard to ensure the survival of these frogs and their habitat. With the ever-increasing threats to our precious ecosystem, it's crucial to protect and preserve the homes of these unique species. Number 19. Bay of Jars Back in October 1922, a marine archaeologist named Robert Marx took the plunge into the depths of Guanabara Bay. There, he discovered a series of clay pots covered in barnacles. Nothing too out of the ordinary until Marx unveiled its history. These ancient receptacles were typically found in shipwrecks, harking back to the time of the mighty Romans and their epic sea voyages. This simple discovery changed what's already written about the history of South America. These forgotten jars suggested that the first Europeans to set foot on the continent weren't Portuguese explorer Pedro Alvarez Cabral and his crew in 1500. Instead, it was the Romans who arrived a whopping 3,200 years later. Marx wasted no time sharing his incredible findings with marine archaeologists in America, who agreed that the jars did indeed seem to have Roman origins. If proven authentic, this discovery would be among the most significant finds in history. But here's where the story gets strange. It turned out Marx wasn't the first to discover the jars. It was another man named José Roberto Teixeira. After the initial discovery, Brazilian officials seemed uninterested in investigating these finds or delving into what they might mean. Marx believed that the logical next step would be to search for the remains of a Roman shipwreck, which would provide undeniable evidence to support his theory. Unfortunately, his investigation hit a dead end and he even accused the Brazilian government of suppressing the presence of the jars in the bay. Now, why exactly would the government do that? Well, the truth might be a bit less sensational than a grand cover-up. The lack of attention to Marx's discovery had more to do with practical reasons than a deliberate effort to hide Brazil's Portuguese heritage. But who knows? Perhaps the government is trying to cover up this discovery. But why? Number 18. Strange-looking jellies the Adela jellyfish just might be among the strangest-looking creatures in the ocean. These guys don't have complex digestive, respiratory, or circulatory systems. In fact, they don't even have a brain. But that doesn't stop them from being voracious eaters. These deep-sea dwellers have an unusual characteristic, their stunning deep red hue. You see, Adela jellyfish reside at depths of 80 to 300 feet, and with that depth, red light can't penetrate. As a result, to predators, they appear entirely black, allowing them to hide despite not having any camouflage abilities like their close relatives. Moreover, the Adela jellyfish are bioluminescent, meaning they can produce their own light. They emit mesmerizing flashes of blue light, a color visible in the deep ocean. To this day, it's still a mystery why these creatures do it. Some believe these dazzling displays attract their prey but others think it startles potential predators or even lures in larger predators that can scare away their assailants. We still have a long way to go before we can say we fully understand this creature. Number 17. Kill Hope Moore Coffin First, 1921, and a farmer named Titus Harrison was minding his own business, 
tending to his flock on Kilhope Moor in County Durham. It was then that he noticed something strange, a wooden box peeking out of the ground near his flock. When Titus examined the box, he got the shock of his life. Inside were human remains. The box wasn't just an ordinary wooden box, but a professionally made coffin with an actual human head inside. This was how the decades-long enigma of the Kilhope Moor coffin began. The coffin held the body of a man wrapped in a gray wool army blanket. The deceased had sandy-colored hair, stood around 5 feet 10 inches tall, and was dressed in old-fashioned army attire, quite out of place for the time. Right next to the man's shoulder, they discovered a bullet. With the high peat content in the soil, everything inside the coffin was remarkably well-preserved. The horrific sight inside the wooden box was preserved long enough for a farmer to stumble upon it. Over the years, investigators and history enthusiasts have tirelessly searched for answers, trying to solve the puzzle of the unknown man's identity. Some theories suggest he may have perished during the Jacobite Rebellion of 1745, while others propose that he could be Captain Richard Courtney Lovell, who met his fate during the 1780 anti-Catholic Gordon riots. Unfortunately, despite countless investigations, the truth behind his identity and how he ended up buried on the moor remains elusive. And so, to this day, this case remains unsolved. Number 16. Message in a Bottle Written by Matilda Lefebvre In April 1912, a young girl named Matilda Lefebvre rode aboard the Titanic. Just 12 years old at the time, she and her family were hoping to reunite with their loved ones in the United States. However, destiny had other plans. As we all know, the Titanic tragically sank just days later on its maiden voyage. This tragic journey shattered the dreams and hopes of many on board, including Matilda and her family. Fast forward to 2017, and an astonishing discovery was made. A letter, believed to have been written by Matilda Lefebvre over a century ago, washed up on the shores of Canada near the Bay of Fundy. The letter was initially found by a family from New Brunswick who uncovered it in the sands. The message inside the bottle, signed by Matilda Lefebvre herself, reads, I am throwing this bottle into the sea in the middle of the Atlantic. We're due to arrive in New York in a few days. If someone finds it, contact the Lefebvre family in Levant. Anyone who discovers this bottle would immediately be stumped and think that they've uncovered a piece of memory of a young girl whose life ended prematurely because of a tragic accident. However, many doubted its authenticity. A team of dedicated researchers tried to uncover the truth behind this letter. Led by Professor Nicholas Beaudry, the team carefully examined its authenticity. While it's a known fact that a passenger named Matilda Lefebvre was aboard the ill-fated Titanic, the team needed concrete evidence to verify the letter's legitimacy. Carbon dating is a crucial step in their investigation. By analyzing the materials used to write the letter, the bottle it was found in, and even the cork that sealed it, they hoped to confirm its age. Experts claim that the materials appear consistent with the period. However, he acknowledges the possibility of forgery or a hoax. You see, during that era, hoaxes were not uncommon. The press would publish messages from the sea, capturing the attention of readers. So there is a chance that someone forged the letter years after the Titanic sank, or perhaps even back in 1912. But could it be that this letter really is authentic? If that is the case, this message in a bottle would be among the many tragic relics left behind by the Titanic. It's heartbreaking to think that to this day, the maiden voyage of a single ship reminds us of loss, death, and tragedy. Number 15. Lost City of Quenning Recent technology revealed an unprecedented site right in the heart of South Africa. Quenning, a vibrant community of up to 10,000 people from the Tswana ethnic group, was discovered thanks to new laser technology that can show unseen structures from an aerial view. Incredible technological advancements act as our very own time machines, allowing us to unearth lost chapters of mankind's history. The remarkable capabilities of laser technology reveal ancient cities that were thought to be lost forever, providing us with a window into the lives of those who walked these streets centuries ago. These discoveries not only broaden our understanding of the past, but also shape our present and future. They remind us of the diverse cultures, traditions, and communities that have shaped our world into what it is today. This discovery might also help the descendants of the Quenning people, who are now fighting for their rights to have the land as their ancestral site. Number 14. Royal Tombs of Ur The Royal Tombs of Ur are like treasure chests that have defied the test of time. 
These majestic burial sites date back to the Sumerian period, around 2600 to 2500 BCE, making them over 4,500 years old. Imagine the secrets they hold within their ancient walls. Ur, an influential city in its heyday, was home to mighty kings and queens who reigned over the land. When these royal figures met their inevitable fate, they were laid to rest in a grandiose style, much like the pharaohs who ruled over ancient Egypt. The royals of Ur were laid to rest in opulent chambers adorned with precious artifacts, intricate jewelry, and lavish treasures fit for royalty. The mysterious allure of the royal tombs of Ur lies in the enigmatic stories they tell. These magnificent tombs, discovered by archaeologist Sir Leonard Woolley in the 1920s, have a history shrouded in mystery. Among the most famous discoveries were the stunning golden headdresses, intricate jewelry, and exquisite carvings. But perhaps the most awe-inspiring find was the legendary Great Death Pit. Imagine a burial chamber where not one, not two, but 74 individuals were laid to rest together, accompanied by troves and troves of precious possessions, a burial that implies its fit for rulers. The exact purpose of such grandiose tombs and their associated rituals remains a compelling mystery. Were they meant to showcase the wealth and power of the rulers? Or were there more profound beliefs and practices at play? To this day, these questions remain unanswered. Number 13. Bizarre Spiny Beetle in Japan Jake Lewis and his team from the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology have been busy setting traps around Japan's Ryukyu Islands since 2015. And their mission is quite simple, to study the incredible varieties of insects that call these islands home. This particular insect is a member of the Asignemis genus, which already boasts an impressive 180 known species. But what makes Asignemis ryukyuana stand out? Aside from its strange body and shape and distinct yellow stripe, it's also covered with strange spikes. This discovery is a reminder of the incredible biodiversity that exists in our world, even in the smallest creatures. Number 12. Spanish Stonehenge In the summer of 2022, rural Spain was stuck by a brutal drought, causing a widespread crisis. However, a fascinating discovery emerged as the water receded, a prehistoric stone circle in a receding dam. Known officially as the Dolmen of Guadalperal, but more popularly known as the Spanish Stonehenge, this ancient monument consists of dozens of megalithic stones and is estimated to date back to 5000 BC. Usually submerged beneath the waters, the stone circle sits fully exposed in one corner of the Valdecanas Reservoir when drought hits the nation. The Dolmen of Guadalperal was initially uncovered by German archaeologist Hugo Obermeyer in 1926. However, during Francisco Franco's dictatorship, the area was flooded in 1963 as part of a rural development project. Since then, the stone circle has only resurfaced four times, making its sighting all the more remarkable. Number 11. Sponge Crabs Sponge crabs, also known as Dromidae, are a family of crabs that have truly earned the reputation as some of the most bizarre creatures on Earth. Sponge crabs are not your typical crabs. They've developed a unique survival strategy involving carrying live sponges on their backs. Yep, you heard that right, sponges. These crabs actually pluck living sponges from the ocean floor and attach them to the spines on their exoskeletons. You don't need to worry, though, because this action doesn't really hurt the sponges. But why would a crab go to such lengths to carry a sponge around? Well, the sponge serves as a highly effective form of camouflage and protection. By blending in with their spongy companions, these crabs can hide from potential predators and become almost invisible in their surroundings. The relationship between sponge crabs and their sponges goes even deeper. The crabs rely on the sponges for food as well. They use their specialized mouth parts to extract nutritious particles from the sponge, supplementing their diet and ensuring their survival. This showcases just about one of the most wholesome relationships in the animal world. Number 10. Vanta Black Imagine a color so black it's like staring into a never-ending abyss. Vanta Black short for vertically aligned nanotuberase, is a unique coating made up of microscopic carbon nanotubes. These tubes are so tiny that a single strand is about 3,500 times smaller than the width of a human hair. This color has only been recently discovered. What makes Vantablack truly extraordinary is its ability to absorb a staggering 99.965% of light. You see, when light hits a surface coated with Vantablack, 
It gets trapped within the tiny nanotubes, bouncing around until it's eventually absorbed. Vantablack eliminates visible depth and texture, leaving only a silhouette. It's like a cosmic black hole for light. No wonder it's been dubbed the blackest black or even the darkest material known to humanity. Number 9. 700 Pounds of Acorns Earlier this year, a homeowner was met with a bizarre house problem. While doing construction in his house, the workers discovered a massive stash of acorns in the walls. It turns out that for years, and perhaps over a decade, a woodpecker has kept its very own acorn stash in the walls of his home. Can you imagine filling up not one, not two, but eight whole garbage bags with these acorns? The entirety of the hall weighed a whopping 700 pounds. The homeowner and the repairman suspect a woodpecker was behind the huge acorn collection. Unfortunately for the winged fella, his hall was transferred somewhere else, leaving behind an extraordinary tale of hidden treasures within the walls. Number 8. Doll with a Creepy Note Imagine buying a new house, excitedly settling into your forever home, when suddenly you stumble upon something incredibly creepy. That's precisely what happened to Jonathan Lewis in the UK, and you won't believe what he found hidden away inside his walls. As Lewis was exploring his new house in 2017, he noticed something peculiar, a wire sticking out of the wall where the previous owners had kept the fridge. Thinking it was clumsy construction work, Lewis investigated further and discovered a secret cavity under the staircase. This is where things take a sinister turn. Tucked away in that hidden space was an old rag doll. Pretty spooky, right? But wait, it gets even creepier. Clutched in the doll's tiny fabric hands was a chilling note. According to Lewis, the note sent shivers down his spine. It read, Thank you for freeing me. My original owners lived in this house in 1961. I didn't like them, so they had to go. All they did was sing and be merry. It was sickening. Stabbing was my choice of death for them, so I hope you have knives. Fortunately, it was pretty easy to tell that the entire thing was a prank after looking at the paper. It was obvious that it was written shortly before Lewis moved into the house. But personally, I wouldn't take any chances if I discovered something similar. Number 7. Rotating Island In 2016, a filmmaker named Sergio Nuspilum spotted something unusual near Argentina on Google Earth, a perfectly circular island surrounded by a round body of water. According to Sergio, this circular landmass, about 130 yards in diameter, is so perfectly formed that it's hard to believe it's a natural occurrence. Sergio decided to go to the coordinates of this curious landmass, but the expedition only left him and his companion with more questions than answers. The water surrounding the circular island, called the Eye, was crystal clear and icy cold, which is totally unusual for the area. What's more, the center part of the island actually floats. Determined to uncover the secrets of this perplexing phenomena, the team has launched a Kickstarter campaign to find a second expedition to the Eye. Initially, the Kickstarter campaign racked up thousands of dollars, but it also attracted a lot of criticism and skepticism. Many believe that the Eye, or the Rotating Island, was nothing but a hoax orchestrated by Lewis and his team, not only to get internet points, but also to receive money from people. To this day, it's debatable whether the Eye really exists. Number 6. World's Largest Plant Recently, scientists have discovered the world's largest plant, and I'm pretty sure that it doesn't look anything like what you're thinking. The largest plant in the world isn't a single plant, but a giant meadow of seagrass that covers an area three times the size of Manhattan. But why is an entire expanse considered a single plant? Well, you see, when experts analyzed the DNA from the plant samples, they made an astonishing discovery. It turns out that the entire meadow consists of clones of the exact same plant. This plant showcases an exceptional level of resilience, successfully adapting to highly stressful conditions that would typically pose significant challenges for most other plants. Now this giant seagrass meadow is not just your average plant. It's ancient, but not in the typical sense. At around 4,500 years old, it has stood the test of time. Number 5. Earth's Heartbeat since the 1960s, scientists all around the globe have been picking up on a strange pulse that keeps rhythmically thumping every 26 seconds. It's like the Earth has its own heartbeat. But the thing is, no one has been able to figure out what's causing this captivating sound. In 1962, 
A scientist named John Oliver working at Columbia University discovered this rhythmic pulse. Oliver discovered that it came from somewhere in the southern or equatorial Atlantic Ocean, and its intensity seemed to peak during the summer months in the northern hemisphere. Fast forward to 1980 when Gary Holcomb, a geologist from the U.S. Geological Survey, also detected this mysterious rhythm. Surprisingly, their groundbreaking findings remained largely unknown for over two decades, until a curious graduate student from the University of Colorado decided to dig deeper into this mystery. Recent research unveiled the truth behind our planet's alleged heartbeat. It turns out that the answer lies in the dance between lightning and our planet. Lightning flashes strike the Earth about 50 times per second, creating low-frequency electromagnetic waves that wrap around our globe. Number 4. Rarest Metal on Earth You're looking at rhodium, and it's the rarest metal out there, so anyone who finds even the smallest speck of this element is considered lucky. It belongs to the Platinum Group metals and holds the atomic number 45, with the symbol RH. We're talking about a rare mineral that encountering it is like stumbling upon a hidden treasure. You see, rhodium's existence in nature is minimal. Its scarcity makes it highly coveted and valuable, capturing the attention of collectors, jewelers, and scientists alike. But what makes rhodium so captivating? Well, it's all about its unique properties. Rhodium possesses a dazzling white sheen, reflecting light in a mesmerizing way. This lustrous quality, coupled with its rarity, makes it a sought-after element for various applications. In the world of jewelry, rhodium plating takes center stage. Jewelry artisans turn to rhodium to add a layer of enchantment to their creations. With a touch of rhodium, a piece of jewelry sparkles and shines, captivating the beholder's gaze. So the next time you catch a glimpse of a glistening piece of jewelry or hear mention of this metal, just remember that it's a precious metal. Number 3. World's Oldest Tattoo Have you ever wondered when people had the idea of immortalizing drawings and symbols by putting them on their skin? Well, this discovery just might answer this question. According to a study published in the Journal of Archaeological Science, researchers unearthed the ancient tattoos on a pair of Egyptian mummies that date back to 3351 to 3007 BC. The mummies were in the British Museum for an entire century before the ancient tattoos were discovered. One of the mummies was around 18 to 21 years old and considered one of the best preserved mummies in the world. He rocks a tattoo on his upper arm that depicts two horned animals, possibly a bull and a sheep. The second mummy is famously called Jebelin Woman. She's the oldest woman mummy found with a tattoo, making her a true pioneer in the world of ink. Her tattoo consists of four small S-like shapes on her upper arm and shoulder. While their exact meaning is still a bit of a mystery, some researchers speculate that they could be batons used in ritual dances, or symbols representing status, bravery, or even magical knowledge. These tattoos weren't discovered recently. Nope, they've been hiding in plain sight for a century, right there in the British Museum. The dark splotches on the mummies were initially considered unimportant, but thanks to advanced technologies like CT scanning, radiocarbon dating, and infrared imaging, the true nature of these marks was unveiled. This remarkable finding challenges our previous understanding of tattooing history. We used to think it began around 2000 BC, but now we're pushing it back by a whopping 1,000 years. Number 2. Mysterious Lake in Tunisian Desert This mysterious lake just appeared in the middle of the desert like a mirage one day, and while it's a welcome respite in the scorching heat of the dry desert of Tunisia, this lake scares many of the locals. Lake de Gafsa, also known as the Gafsa Beach, is an intriguing phenomena that captured the world's attention when it seemingly appeared out of nowhere. Located in the Gafsa region of Tunisia, this natural wonder emerged in 2014, creating a wave of fascination and drawing visitors from all over the globe. The origin of Lake de Gafsa are shrouded in mystery. It's believed to have formed during the accumulation of underground water from nearby phosphate mines. The underground water leaked into an underground cavern, gradually eroding the surface above it until it finally collapsed, forming a sizable crater-like depression. This depression was soon filled with water, giving birth to the captivating Lake de Gafsa. Within a short period, the lake gained immense popularity through social media, with stunning images and videos being shared extensively. Tourists flocked to witness the sudden natural phenomena, making it an overnight sensation and putting Gafsa on the global tourism map. However, amidst the excitement, concerns about the lake's safety emerged. 
Some experts raised alarms about the potential health risks associated with its water. It's believed that the water in Lake Gafsa might contain high concentrations of heavy metals and other pollutants, including carcinogenic substances. These concerns sparked debates about the lake's safety for swimming and other recreational activities. While the water's composition and quality have been subject to ongoing scientific investigation, caution is advised when approaching Lake de Gafsa. Local authorities have put up warning signs and advised visitors to avoid direct contact with the water. Despite these warnings, adventurous tourists have been seen swimming and enjoying the lake's surreal environment. Number 1. 518 million year old sea creature. In 2019, a team of brilliant researchers from the University of Bristol unearthed a treasure trove of fossils in China. Among these remarkable findings was an extraordinary fossilized sea creature dating back a mind boggling 518 million years. This ancient creature, known as the Daihua Sangqion, had a mind boggling 18 tentacles near its mouth. What's even more intriguing is that the Daihua Sangqion shares many anatomical features with modern day comb jellies. That's right those mesmerizing creatures with combed rows of cilia gracefully navigating the ocean depths. This revelation suggests that the Daihua Sangqiong might just be a distant relative of these wondrous creatures. Comb jellies are believed to be among the earliest organisms to evolve on Earth, so the fact that this fossil predates them is like discovering a missing puzzle piece in the story of life's evolution. By comparing the fossils to contemporary specimens, the experts were able to reconstruct the entire lineage of comb jellies. This discovery provides a substantial leap forward in understanding these peculiar creatures. Which of these intrigued you the most? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.